No, but seriously. <laughs> Wait, come on, finish. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> Okay, oh. so don't we look silly? Like we don't we look I ridiculous. I cannot believe she made me do that. Look, I cannot believe, but you know, we had to start it like this because we have to address this issue. Those Wait, of you, first can of I leave all, my bag up here. Of course. First of all, um, we're not, you know, knocking anybody's hustle or whatever it is. By all means, sell whatever you want to sell on Instagram, whether it's shoes, whether it's underwear, whether it's time matter, whatever you want to sell. Supportive but see, underwear. When you start twerking to sell the market is what, the one I don't understand. And I saw a tweet the other day where people said, oh, all those, they specifically targeted hair vendors. They said all those hair vendors that dance on Instagram, they're dancing to cover the scam. It's all a scam because- see, see, This is what you see. No, no, there's one girl, I can't find her, her whatever now, but I've come across her, um, what's it called, her page. She'll do like like waist length hair and then she'll go sideways at the camera and then be twerking and be shaking bum bum and be rolling. I'm like, the people you are buying, I mean, you are selling to, they're mostly straight women. So what are you but doing? I, but apparently, like Nigerians like music, we like dancing. And, so, and, I, and I hear you know. that apparently it increases sales because mm. obviously people like to watch people dance or share it to yeah. their friends. And the next thing you know, um, you are getting sales. But I do remember waking up one day and getting this message from one of my staff and he was like, please, I know that the trend now is for people to be dancing with their goods. Please just make me make a video and talk about your, your stuff, maybe your sales or whatever. But please, it's just much more dignified than dancing. I wait, laughed. wait, but what if these people that do it, what if they actually say to you, look, ever since I started dancing and doing all of this, my sales have increased by 50%. Well, maybe, but then again, a lot of people lie. See, a lot of people lie, a lot of people lie all the time. So we, we will never know for sure, mm. because I'm not going to come and look into your account, but if it's working for you, it's okay. It's just, it's just a bit, <laughs> you know, just, eh, eh, this blouse is here, it's for 10K. Eh, eh, this shoe is here, 5K, 5K. I mean, come on, stop it. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to another episode of Off Air with... Gemi and Tools. Um, we're not going to try and do different languages because it didn't really work well last time. Mm -mm. So, you know. Yeah. Anyways. All right. So but, first things first, uh, mm -hmm. you you had a, uh, you, you wanted to like go into your pet peeve mm -hmm. about um, Instagram vendors that dance. I want to just dive into mine and mine is um, cyber begging. Mm. So um, I sent you, so a while ago I sent you this article mm -hmm. um, on, um, it was on Bella Ninja mm -hmm. and it was basically talking about, you know, cyber begging because it, first of all, it used to be like just for celebrities, but nowadays I feel like everybody mm. has, you know, sometimes you post a picture and you see like, oh, please, does any, can anybody help me with 3K? And I need to buy medicine 3K, for my 2K, child for or, you know. Stuff. Yeah, so they had some, um, so I read the article and they had some very, very interesting points. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, they said this, are people on social media also that poor or are they just trying to play smart? Because let's face it, if you are as poor as you claim, you won't, you wouldn't have data to be consistently begging on every post, Abby. Mm, absolutely. If you're also very broke, why are you not requesting for jobs instead of recharge cards or money? If you're offered a job, will you take it? Mm. A Twitter user once shared how he offered someone a job online and the person said, I beg, just give me the money. I can't be waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Imagine. Yeah. So everybody, I mean, almost everyone that I know has been um has been you know approached on social media um particularly instagram mm -hmm. um someone will say oh i need you know to pay my school fees i need to do this i or need to do that family members yeah or yeah something. Or, and and apparently um so when when i first you know really started getting on social media when this whole cyber begging trend started i fell for a few times because <laughs> i was just like oh my gosh you know well let me see what i can do to help and then i kind of realized that hang on a second if you really, really, really needed money, you wouldn't have money for data. Some people argue that these people go to places where they can get Wi-Fi, like free Wi-Fi to use. There are certain places if you, that you If can you can get, get free Wi-Fi, you can get free Wi-Fi to apply for a job. Mm. No? So, I mean, I, I just feel like people just try their luck. Really. Yeah. At the mm. end of the day, you know, they, they create all these burner accounts, grow them for a while, and then they now create this... They do it on Twitter too. Yeah. Though it's 
prevalent on, on Instagram, Instagram where you yeah. see they also enter your DMs. Oh, my school fees send you, you know, bogus papers for school fees or bogus papers as oh someone's medical bill or whatever it is. The other one is now what I've seen also is older women. Older women. They that would, one. That they will one. come into your comments and say, People of God, please let's put our hands together and help this young lady. Her knee bends to one side. One thing, one thing. I'm just like, mm. That one, it took me a second. Because I was like, okay, they're not begging for themselves. But then you go on you go on their page and it's like some, you know, and see that a few of her pictures are from some oh and bear mm-hmm. you know and then and then it's um it's about somebody that um a child that's sick a child that's that and and if you uh, quite often a lot of them they don't have more than maybe eight pictures yeah they only have like a handful of pictures and it just it just doesn't make sense because at first i kind of thought okay maybe it's legit and then i started seeing it like there was one time every single thing i posted this woman was always commenting and i just realized that, oh my gosh this is actually another oh, know, so fraudulent what I, thing what I do now is I block like if I post something on Instagram and then I scroll through my comments and I see oh please somebody here should help me I don't want to read it anymore I'm sorry but there are too many scammers out there yeah, yeah. and you will get blocked and mm. some of them are relentless they will come back again and they they recreate all these burner accounts also to you know have I guess multiple entries for all sorts of yep. contests or gifts or giveaways or whatever it is. They ever tell you how somebody created like a whole page just to win pots of stew on my page? They probably they probably had those pages already, I reckon. Yes. They probably had those pages already. One of my friends, she got approached. Um, she's not a public figure. She got approached. Somebody was like, somebody said that they couldn't pay their school fees mm-hmm. and can she help? So they'd given her, you know, they'll say, oh, I can send, I can send information. Proof, yeah. I can send proof if you want. So they kind of sent her like some bogus letter. Mm-hmm. And she then, um, uh, she, she then looked through the letter, saw the, you know, um, student ID and everything. And she ended up sending the person money. Now, um, about a week or so later, she checks. She, she sent that person a message, like, just to check that, you know, they paid the money and they were back at school. The person blocked her. Ah! The person blocks her. Imagine. Yeah. So you need to be very careful. There's some people that say, well, you know what? If you have, just give. I think, and this is how I operate now. I prefer to work with legit charities. Mm. I feel that that is actually more, um, your, it, it's, I'm not saying that there aren't dodgy tar- charities out there, but I mean, if you check that they're registered, mm-hmm. if you do some investigation, if you speak to people that they've worked with, then you can actually verify, you know, what their cause is. You can verify what they're doing mm-hmm. and um, what have you. So I would rather do that than just give, you know, money. And you have some t- sometimes you have people that say, eh, why are you being mean? Just give them, just give them. I'm like, if you want to do that, that's fine. But I don't, th- I'm not going to. I'm not about to be, you know, to be as in scammed. Exactly. That's I'm not about to do that. So I, I block everybody now that begs for money on social media. I only give to sources or people who need it that I can verify that yeah. they need it. Yeah. You understand? I'm not about to I remember I did a giveaway. I keep saying this story and it's baffling. Did a giveaway centered around, you know, the basic human needs, food, clothing, shelter, etc. And for food, I contacted somebody who was a caterer, you know, she sells, you know, soup or stews by the litter. So if you want like a whole pot or whatever, she said I wanted to give out one pot of stew, one pot of whatever soup you want. And I paid the caterer. And then I just asked people like a simple question. I just picked randomly from the people who had answered. So I checked this person's page and they had like say 30 something pictures with kids. And you know, I was like, okay, they have kids. Okay, let me do that. Let me give this person. So first of all, I also paid for delivery. Mm. The caterer told me that the person kept insisting on meeting her at a Jabo stop. And she was like, but they may pay for delivery, so I'll bring it to your doorstep. The person was like, nope, meet me at a Jabo stop. <coughs> so they met at a Jabo stop, and that Male was Male or that. female? Female. Long story short, Sha, like a month or so after, I was just going through my comments, and I was like, oh, this person that I sent stuff, because they told me, oh, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. So I click, and it says Instagram user. I mean, they had disabled the account. Like, I was just like, you used a burner account to win pots of stew. Are you that hungry, bro? But I think my eyes really, really opened when I went to Meduguri. I went to an ITP camp there. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, this is like on some next level. Mm-hmm. And then I realized that the people that are begging on Instagram, mm-hmm. aren't. they're not like 
that's that's not the the, the real like lowest poverty level mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the people at idp camps the people that don't even have phones don't have anything and there's so many people like that in this country yep. and i just feel that you know if i can help those people i'd rather help those people than help somebody that is uh physically able to do something physically able to get a job physically able to you know possibly start a business maybe they might not have the funds but there's something they can do um but they choose to you know be online and scam other people and i think that's where i have the issue the mm-hmm. whole scamming mm-hmm. scamming other people and just coming up with sob stories because you, you what you're doing is you're basically um invalidating mm-hmm. um invalidating uh somebody else that's going through that legitimately you're basically invalidating their stories because you're you've come up with oh i need 3k to buy medicine for my twins i need so, you know please i need this i need this oh i'm a student i'm homeless mm-hmm. or i don't have you know parents and blah 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 and then there are people that are actually in those positions that when they come forward nobody's going to believe them there's something that i saw let me just see if i can find it um so something that i saw um that um Copy? DJ Cuppy, yeah, tweeted uh, that I found quite interesting. So she goes to all my cupcakes that complain that I don't do money giveaways. I hear you, but I've always felt like that was essentially paying people to be your fans. Do you agree? I don't think it's essentially paying people to be your fans. There's nothing wrong in telling the fans thank you once in a while by doing a giveaway. Um, the other day we were discussing this, and I brought. Um, I remember that Nicki Minaj one day just showed up on Twitter. Yeah and decided to pay people's tuition fees, which is in the US, and that is huge. So, you can choose to do giveaways, doesn't mean you're paying people to be your fans, it's just, they're your fans because they like you, and you know, you are that popular, or you're that big, or you're that famous, because of these people. Well, quite often, mm-hmm. you have like an artist that will drop a song, mm-hmm. and then it's like, okay, this challenge, and then you just have, there's some people that I've had to unfollow, because all you just see is ass, 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 oh, ass all over their page. Oh, ones where they tell people to twerk or whatever it is. I mean, that one, that one, that one embarrassed me because if all I, weekend long I was at, okay, so for example, I was at the, at, the, at the salon and then I, the person is doing my hair. You know, they can't see what's happening on your page. So I put my phone down, then I pick it up again and then the person I see is boom, boom, ah, ah. Like there was there was somebody that did that challenge and there was one time I was just scrolling through Instagram and there was this all I saw was Botox and it looked like this girl had greased herself up with palm oil. Ugh. It was just greasy and I was like, Ugh. This is the era where you, you should use social media to your advantage. I mean, granted, Drake did not start the Shiggy. Mm. You know, but some person came up with that, and that song blew up mm. worldwide. I don't think yeah. anybody on this planet that doesn't know that song. Yeah. But I feel like if you're gonna do giveaways, be smart about it. You need to first of all be solid. Let your whether it's your music that you are pushing, let it be solid, and then you can now find a way to incorporate your fans. Whether you're telling them to do a challenge or you're doing a giveaway or whatever it is. Now those ones that just drop any any kind of chewing gum song and then just say. One million for the best, especially with the best dance. This is boring. This is unimaginative. This is not creative in any way, shape, or form. And th- these people are just hungry. Now the thing is, Nigerians. First of all, there's also this. Apparently, there's some people who all they do is, is do challenges or competitions. Exactly, that's their job. They wake up and they resume to social media, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, and they just look for all the giveaways, the challenges, whether it is a brand, whether it mm. is an artist or whoever it is. If if you see your cousin Ooh. twerking online you know, buttocks out everything, what would you do? At first, I will send her a DM, like, oh, that way, you are mad. Take that off right now. Take it off right now. I don't like, I just, why? But she just reads it and she just leaves you Then, on, then on I will be the auntie that calls your mom. I will tell, what? So how would the phone call go? <laughs> I say, good afternoon, ma. Mm. Uh, is, is this a good time for you to talk? Okay, I don't want to be bad, though, but I just saw that, baby, <laughs> what are you talking I, 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 I just saw that little baby. She just what she posted on Instagram. Ah, I can't even. I can't even really explain to you. I think you should see yourself. I'm going to send you the link right now. So I told her to take it down and she ignored me, but I don't know. I just thought, let me bring it to your table and, you know, let, let it not be like I saw it and I didn't say anything. So so what the mother says, eh, she's on Johnny now. I'm on Johnny now. She's just dancing. Then that, then that, just that's a little them. bit of dancing. That's up to them. If the mom's okay with it, then, you know, that's up to them. I'm, I'm like, you know, as you say, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to happy you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday no. to all of you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just feel like artists If, if you saw, like, one of your little cousins doing that. Same thing, pretty much. I'd be like, girl, are you, are you 
mad? Mm. You want to get a job in future? What, what are you doing? God bless you for saying that because there's so many people, there's so many people that do all sorts of stuff on um, social media and they forget that you can never really delete this. Mm. So um, I read this story, <clears throat> I read this story a few, a few days ago. There was um, an editor of um, Gay Times in mm. the UK. So he was the first um, uh, black, he was the first black editor of Gay Times, which is, you know, a big thing. Mm -hmm. And a few years before, he'd tweeted some um, some very bad things against um, Jewish people ah. and, you know, just a whole bunch of very, very stupid, stupid tweets. And um, I believe they were going to interview him because it was it was like a big moment. He was mm -hmm. making history and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was BuzzFeed. Mm -hmm. uh, they were going to interview him. So they did some research. I know those organizations, when they do their research, they do it well. So they were able to find these tweets. This guy, I don't even know if he was at the job for a month before he got fired. So everything you do on social media, mm -hmm. everything you do on social media, it is always that you can delete it. Um, Stormzy's girlfriend, she made a few comments. Even, uh, what's her name, Steph London, she made a few comments. And when they, they're career start doing well they delete it but somebody will always find it i um i'll never forget this is a few years ago this mm. is before, this is when it was like mainly facebook and i was uh, um i'd gone for this interview i gone for this interview and i was sitting there like you know yes you know i, I believe i'd be a valuable member of your team thank you so much i'm responsible Lies. i'm sure Lies. and and then they um and then as so that with the interview went well and i'm leaving thinking oh i think i've got this mm -hmm. and then they were they they said something to me and i was like huh and they i can't remember exactly what he said but he was like oh we saw your video and i was like what, what video there was a video, so I was playing foosball and I get very competitive. Mm -hmm. So um, I was losing and I was very upset. I didn't realize that they were filming me. Mm -hmm. I was very upset and I started cussing. I was effing and blinding and just really, really bad words. And this idiot that filmed me now put it on YouTube. <gasps> So they saw the video, and after I was like, I'm a responsible, you know, member upstanding. of society, upstanding. Me curse, oh goodness, never. You know, all of that. And then I just was, so they, they, they thought it was funny, thank God. So we just kind of had a laugh about it, and I was like, oh my gosh, like imagine if I'd been doing power challenge. Power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, power. <laughs> and, then, and then they're like, <laughs> How 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 do you think you're going to serve your country as the first female president? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm the best. <laughs> and somebody just dropped a video and like, greased up in palm oil. Palm oil. <laughs> We've got fan mail, but first of all, before we get to it, I just want to say big, 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 big thank you to everybody who listens to the show, who watches thank us, you. who thank sends you. us messages, DMs. I know you take your time out to subscribe and then send us fan mail thank you we are ever so grateful thank you yes. so, all right so what's this fan mail saying so the question reads what do you think about dating a married man mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> i think i saw <laughs> that and she sent it sometime i, I saw that and she said something like oh no judgment yeah, no so judgment. i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna try my very best not to judge you girl but i'm gonna say this the first thing is don't date a married man and i'm gonna tell you why first of all men lie they be lying. Whoa. Men lie, women lie, men lie. Men lie, lie, men lie. Men lie unprovoked. And I'm going to tell you now. Some of them would have shit with one. Ah. Like the way they lie. <laughs> they just lie. <laughs> you know. So he's probably has said to you, oh, we're having issues. We're having issues. Or we're about to be separated. Or, um, you or you are my soulmate. Or some nonsense. Girl, he is lying. So wait, wait, wait. I've I've had this conversation with someone before, mm -hmm. and the person, the per shut up. <laughs> the person said that what about those people that meet their significant others or that meet their are you, soulmates? Are you a fucking outside? bastard? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, damn. <laughs> no, see, oh. Hmm. Here's what we're gonna say. I was gonna, I was, I was, I was gonna say something. But do, do you possible. believe it's possible to meet your soulmate? I mean, not for me. That's First of all, I'm, well, I mean, if that person feels that that married person is their soulmate, all power no, to you. No, no. Congratulations. But I'm gonna say this. First of all, I believe that no, you can't just have one soulmate. So go and find another one. Okay. Go and find another one. But it's the married person telling her. The they are lying. lying. They are lying. The they are lying. And let me tell you something. Even if they leave their partner for you, you will forever be, be on worried edge. because you're like, yes. Mm, you what know. if what if he realizes that I'm not his soulmate? Or That's whatever. How... Or he's over, you, you guys are finally together, and then this person is. You are, we are wondering: Is this person talking to another person on the side? That's, That's how. That's how somebody told me. 
that. Mm. You're such a gossip. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm just talking about it. Should I talk it? Talk it! <laughs> That's how a friend of a friend. Um, so I think at this time, i just gotten engaged. Uh -huh. So I was um, in the UK and... Oh hell, if she sees this, I don't care, you two, you are stupid. Ah. Anyways, so she so she now was asking me all these questions like, oh, where did you meet your husband? Where did you da 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 da? How long did it da? And then I found out that she'd been dating a married guy for almost 10 years. Dumbass. So she and she, she wasn't a small girl though. She wasn't like, you know 10 years. She'd been dating this guy for 10 years and you know they first started talking and he did the whole, oh, we're not really getting along, we're getting separated, blah blah blah. That took about two to three years. Then it was a, oh, you know, she, she's ill or she has cancer and I can't leave her right now. So, so basically this girl, Valentine's Day, he would be with his wife on Valentine's Day the 15th. He would be with her. So she was a second class citizen for so long. Oh, by the way, if your person you are seeing for some reason cannot see you on Valentine's Day and they see you the day before, the day after, you're a side chick or side dude. Just know that now. Good. Yeah. Continue. If it's consistently <laughs> national no, side chick if or side dude day, it's 15, is the 15th, the 13th, the 16th, the 17th. It's yes. Never on the day. Or Christmas is sometimes like Boxing Day or the 27th. Mm. Or maybe you know if you're kind of special, they might do Christmas Eve. You mm. know. Um. But yeah. So so my friend was saying she was just breaking it down like oh um she's been with this guy for 10 years and he just came with different stories, different stories, and I was like. Why was your dumb ass waiting for 10 years? Why was your dumb, stupid ass waiting for 10 years for this guy to get his shit together? Are you stupid? And she wasn't, and she was a fine girl as well. I was, so, so when, you know how you meet somebody, like, um, you, you're with friends, and then you meet some, um, like a and friend of a friend? A friend of a friend. And you're just like, oh, hey girl, whatever. And then you hear their story, and the next time you see them, you're like, okay. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, look at this one. I mean, and okay. And she's there like, how did you meet your husband? Look, wait, he said maybe the sex was good. Sex I don't care if there's spin his dick like a helicopter Woo! for 10 years Woo! for 10 years Woo! i'm sorry i'm Woo! sorry 10 years Woo! what is it now Woo! 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 okay but just and you're like and you're like whoa, whoa. No, 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 i gotta no, i gotta sorry. i gotta do i gotta do this sorry sorry sorry, sorry. Like, <laughs> wheel, 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 wheel. <laughs> and you're like oh, come on for 10 years you know, just, okay. i don't know i don't know why people think that um well, maybe this is just my opinion, mm -hmm. but I, I can't imagine being in a relationship for a long um, period of time just because the sex is good. There's plenty of good sex everywhere, okay? You can have good sex with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, because I'm just going to say this, um, and I feel like, look, now there's some people that I know that have been with married people for 10 years. Mostly a lot of times it's usually the woman and it's, she's really attached to like a very popular, or, sorry, very powerful man. Mm. And in, in that case, the person is financing her life. Yeah. And you know, you know, give, giving her access to a lot of money, mm. whatever it is. So that's, I mean, that one's safe. I don't even know because before they call for me, I say, so is it okay for somebody to be some, with someone because of uh, money? But I just feel like, this one who was with somebody because of good sex, are you mad? Like, I I think from from what I was told, I feel me. I feel like she was genuinely like in love with the guy, my head and is and me. she was you know <laughs> the ponytail is tight. And she was see that soulmate thing. I don't know if you can. I I couldn't be. I couldn't find knowingly. That one. I couldn't knowingly be yeah, the second. Love is strong, huh? Love is strong, but no what kind of God forsaken love is that? That's not a love in the Bible, though. That's not that's not the kind of love I want. Yeah, same Bible. What if person that doesn't follow the Bible or no, the Quran or see, whatever? I don't feel I don't feel that you can actually knowingly be like. For, I, maybe it's because I'm, you know, a bit proud or something. Mm -hmm. But for me to knowingly know that I'm the second class citizen constantly, constantly for ten years, that girl for me, I shout to my friend, they're doing her in a village. Okay, let me ask you this question: what? When you were single, uh -huh. like put your cup down because I know you're gonna try and hide behind your cup. What do you when mean? you were single, when you were single, <laughs> were you ever like approached by a married man? And I mean... wait, 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 and were you tempted? <laughs> were you tempted? I mean, there were some that were super persistent and super nice and stuff, but I was just like, "Please, hey, somebody's husband, please don't let poor sit on your head." So please, just think. because let me, let me. There are some guys I have to say. Yes, there are some girls who go after married men, but I have to say that it's only in this league yeah. was there are some married men that are so persistent. You see, you start thinking, "Boya, boya, can it be?" You know, so it's just like see. 
You just have yeah, to be, you just have to gather your brain. Especially when if the guy has the resources to woo you properly. Don't enter a Waterloo. You got met a Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine a babe who really has nobody. Mm. Maybe she came to Lagos to hustle and make a better life for herself. Her whole family is in the village. And then some rich dude is trying to give her some money. And he's trying to say, just be my side, babe. I'm not going to be in your face all the time. I don't, I'm not going to be disturbing you. In fact, have your boyfriends. She's going to say yes. Yeah. You know? Now, if you now go and fall in love, you're a stupid fool. I'm just saying... If the guy is chasing you about, I mean, and he doesn't want to hear no, he wants to collect his money. Mm. What about if you now? So, it collect his money and not do anything, or collect his money and do. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, girl or boy. You know, whatever it is. But I'm just saying, you know, I, I just, I, I, I just I feel, feel like, like don't fall, don't go and fall in love like an idiot. And this married man has been disturbing my life, disturbing my life, and I was just like, bros, I don't want, leave me. And it was worse because I knew the wife. Mm. And then one day I roll over, I was sleeping, roll over and get this message on BBM and Baba Goose. <sighs> it's a public holiday. How, and it was a Thursday. How about me and you hop on a plane, private jet, and go to Saint Tropez? I oh, just boy. hissed and thought about how many people are going to say no, no to that. that. Mm. Saint Tropez that Didi is always rapping about. Are you joking? I've not been there still, but I will go there one day. It's okay. <laughs> but I was just like, but you know, I was just like, I beg, because I, I was absolutely not so what? Interested. So wait, why did you say no? I was not interested. But I'm sure, like, it hasn't been. Um, for me, I know that this didn't just happen w- once. I know that there there's are, so many. So how come you never, you were never, you never went the whole way? See, uh, I just feel like there's too much. Now nah, I'm already a private person, but there's too much hiding, and I like, um, I like attention. I like if I'm going to be with you, you are going to be. See, I want to be able to reach you when I like. I'm able to see you when I like. Do you understand? I can't be like, ah, oh, he's at home now with madame, so let me chill till morning to have office time. I can't do that. Mm. That's not the kind of person I am. I cannot, and I don't like to share. Do you understand? I'm not one of those girls who's like, eh, let him have other girlfriends outside. You know, he's I still coming the main home. One. He's still coming home. Mm-mm. Maybe you come home to get poisoned. That's why I like, please. <laughs> On that note, we'll say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. <coughs> so long. Yeah. Farewell. Yes, yes, yes. Um, thank you to every single person that subscribed. Thank you to every single person that's watched all of the previous episodes. We really, really appreciate thank you. Thank you. Big shout out to the people in Nigeria. Big shout out to the people outside Nigeria. We love you. Thank you. Make sure you keep watching. And of course, keep your messages coming in. We yes, appreciate them. Yes, and subscribe them. to our YouTube channel. Please do. And make sure you follow us on Instagram or on Twitter. All right? But the thing is, handles, is real. Our handles are down here. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Oh. Do we offend anyone? Is oh, that'd be all right. <laughs> you offended me. Do we offend anyone? I am offended. You. Why? We'll be all right. Why? Wait, wait. Don't cut it. Why are you offended? offended. Cause because we know... We knew you was a hoe. We know you was a hoe. Ho! You was a hoe.